This is currently the world's largest Minecraft statue. It's 16 feet tall and weighs 3,000 pounds, but I decided it wasn't big enough. So today we are going to be attempting to make a Minecraft statue double the size, which is insanely stupid and highly dangerous. I'll explain why in a second, but for now, here's a hint. You broke the window. If one of us were over there, we would have a nail in our head. And if you notice in the build plans, this isn't just any Minecraft character. In fact, this character is the whole reason we're making this video in the first place. And all this started from a single YouTube video. They ran a couple of scans and then they came back and they told me that uh, the reason my arm hurts is because I have cancer. This is Technoblade, one of the biggest figures in the Minecraft community. And recently he announced this horrible news. Technoblade is such an amazing person and role model to millions of people. I was so inspired by his hopeful and positive attitude. I wanted to do something to show him how much we the community loves and support him. So I got my engineer friends to go full Bob the Builder mode for Technoblade. All right, so I got my build plans right here. I hope you know that if this falls, houses, cars, and everything close will be destroyed. Well, yeah, it's 32 feet tall and 6,000 pounds. Somebody could get very hurt. Let's do it. Step one, let's go get some wood. Dude, we're gonna need so much wood. <laughs> this is about to be our most expensive project we have ever done. It's gonna be a lot of money. We're gonna be here for a long time getting the wood. Number one. Yeah, only 119 more to go. You wanna make a bet on how much it's gonna cost? I guess $3,000. I think it'll cost 1500 Loser has to unload the wood by themselves. Okay, bet. <laughs> So right here is all of our wood for the project. This is not all of our wood. We still have one more cart. How much more do we need? We still need 40 pieces of plywood. 40 more pieces of plywood? Yeah. $1,358.86. You were right. Yeah. So now that we have the wood, we immediately started building tests because building a giant statue isn't as easy as it sounds. What concerned me the most was the height to weight ratio. Here's what I mean. This is looking to be a little bit of a concern because our center of gravity is like 20 feet in the air. Uh, it's not supposed to be that high. This statue is really unsafe. Just like this water bottle. Boop. <laughs> Except it's not just like the water bottle where it's just a boop. It's going it's to be a like, bang. It's more like this. And someone will die. So what are we going to do to fix that problem? I'm not sure yet, but let's go start building. <laughs> that does not sound very good, but I'm in. Let's do it. We first started by framing the inner structure of Technoblade. Pat, do you realize how heavy this is? <laughs> We just completed framing the legs. Now it's time for the body. And this thing is already massive. Well, that's as tall as the house. This might be like too tall. This could fall. If this falls, somebody's definitely getting hurt. I've been playing Minecraft for over 10 years and I've watched countless Technoblade videos. That's why I was completely devastated when I heard the horrible news. I also learned that 40% of people will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. My heart goes out to every single person affected by this terrible disease. As you probably noticed, this video is also a fundraiser for the Cancer Research Institute. I will also be donating $500 myself. I think we're gonna have to brace this crossways. Everything was going perfect until this happened. That is not I'm good. What happened? It hit another nail and it shot it out. No way. You broke the window. I thought you guys were over there. If one of us were over there, we would have a nail in our... Look at that. Look how high that is compared to my head. You literally would have hit me right in the head. When we say that somebody could die during these videos, we are not joking. The stakes are extremely high. Well, I guess I got to replace a window too. Wasn't expecting to do that. We're going to have to pull off all... Bottom and Dude, top. we're going to have to fix the drywall. Yeah, Gosh, is. this is gonna be a pain. And then we gotta pull the blinds off. How much money? Thousands? I don't I don't know. Now it's time to go window shopping. Can you look and see if you have a window for me? Everything I'm gonna have are gonna be true 12 inch increments. So are you gonna have one of these? I'm not. Um it'll be like three months to get it in. Three months, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Three months to <laughs> fix the window? <laughs> the best part about this is we're not building this at my house. We're building it at our friend Cameron. And he is away in the mountains camping right now. He is going to be pissed. Sorry, Cameron. I'll be back in three months. We ordered a custom window. Now it's time to get back to work. Caden's nailing again. Run. <laughs> While my friends continue framing, we're going to start priming the wood. We've literally been priming for about two hours already. How much more do we have to go? We have to do 40, man. 40? Yeah. Dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing, but I can guarantee you, we will not be breaking any windows in the process. We won't, that team will. Team? Yeah, this is teams. 
While we're priming, the boys over there are installing a ladder, so at the end of the video, we can go in the top of Technoblade's head, 32 feet in the sky. Hopefully it doesn't fall when someone's up there. We need to make sure this ladder's super strong so nobody falls. Dude, at this point, who? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, you're not. We have so much wood, we had to prime through the night. So our team is continually painting through the night while the other team gave up and is cleaning up. Dude, I've been working since six o'clock. What time did you get here? You got here at three four, o'clock, like five? Three in the, mo three in the morning, five o'clock. So it's the next day and me and my friends have been working super hard. So I want to reward them with some money. I have two Minecraft cakes, one for Caden and one for Cordova. And the first person to cake Hayden in the face. What's that? No, wait, 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 wait. wait. You have to wait till I say go. If you get away, I'll give you 500 dollars Bro, I'm not getting cake. Yeah, you are. Go! They are running so fast, I can't keep up. <laughs> Who got him? Me. He picked it up off the ground and slammed me in the face. <laughs> Does that count? Because I thought I won. Just because you guys have all been working so hard, I'll give you each $500. Really? Yeah. While we were cleaning the cake, the neighbor came outside and got in our face for no reason. What I came out to say was thank you for cleaning up your mess. Why are you so You're close welcome. to Step back. Okay. You're welcome, right, step dude. Step back. That's why I came out. Step back, you. sir. Please step back. I've never seen anybody get that close just to say thank you. But we have a lot of work left to do and it's finally time to start painting. We are on day three and we are finally ready to paint. We have 1,184 total squares to paint and they're all different colors. That's too much, dude. And it has to be done in five hours. The reason we have to finish in five hours is because this crazy rainstorm is coming through our area and will ruin our paint if it's still wet. I like how you're not even painting anything. Yeah. I'm keeping the spiders off. This paint job is incredibly hard and it's taking way longer than expected. But luckily the storm passed and we don't have to worry about it getting ruined. Now it is time to paint the top of his head. I have a challenge for both of you. What's up? Rock, paper, scissors. Since Cordova won the rock, paper, scissors, you get this Cordova. What am I about to You get a finger paint for the next hour. One hour starts right now. Faster. What do you mean faster? I got my finger, bruh. I'm gonna get this done quick. I have the roller. This sucks. While Cordova and Hayden painted the top of Technoblade's head, me and the team worked on finishing the rest of the paint job. It's four days later and Technoblade is painted. There's an extremely high chance that this statue falls and completely destroys the house. So to be just a little bit safer, we're gonna load it on a trailer and take it to a safer location. Trailering Technoblade was intense. Oh, no. We need to call them and tell them to go slower. Dude, if that falls on someone when we're driving, that would be bad. It took us a total of six different trips, and I had to rent a giant forklift that could hopefully stand him up. All right, so we have all of the Technoblade pieces on location. Now it's time to stand him up. This is not gonna work, dude. <laughs> it has to. We have to stand this up. First, we're gonna start by putting up Dream as the test to make sure this will work. Two weeks ago, we thought Dream was super hard to lift, but now it's the easy part of our day. Technoblade is gonna be so much harder to lift. You know, just a normal day watching a tractor move dream around this is really starting to stress me out this isn't even the big one yet wait about 20 minutes we got something six times as big so we just got dream standing and just for a size comparison that is dream and that is technoblade's yeah. legs it's going to be a total of 32 feet if this thing falls somebody's going to get terribly hurt it's time to start stacking technoblade and it's not going to be easy he weighs over 6,000 pounds and it's extremely windy cordova the weather report saying 30 mile an hour wind yeah i know i feel it <laughs> i wish we were professionals but we have no idea what we're doing at all <laughs> someone's getting hurt today this thing is way too windy rocking like crazy bro this is so scary it's so tall i don't like this at all this is already dangerous enough. I really don't want anybody in that. And then we're not even halfway. What are you expecting? <laughs> the wind started to get way worse. This isn't a good day to do this. Dream is swaying like crazy back Oh there. yeah, he's like doing the milli rock over there. It's so windy outside. The winds are going crazy right now and Dream's getting ready to fall over. I'm trying to put the ladder underneath so we can catch it if it falls. All right, the moment of truth. I just installed the eye hooks. Let's see if these things hold. We have the forklift all set up and now it's time to stack the heaviest part, the giant body. When I have this in the air, like I need you to make sure there's no one around. I don't want anybody even close. As soon as we lifted the body, the chain Snap. Chain slide off the oh, it already broke. I think the eye hook broke. Yeah. It bent it like his tin. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this up today. I don't think you're ever gonna be able to do this. It's just 
just too heavy. We instantly tried coming up with new ideas for a better game plan. We'll run two chains, try to match the chains up as much as we can. Okay, sweet. So the last hooks broke instantly. Now we have some bigger, better stuff. We're using titanium hooks. If this doesn't work and the wood breaks, then game over. All right, let's try it. Tell me if the chains are even. It's really windy, dude. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work. What do we do, like hire a professional crane company or what? They won't do it, but it has to be the code. All we could do is just go for it and hope for the best. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is literally leaning like this because of the wind. Of how slow this is going is killing me. It is shaking like crazy. It's so windy out here. This is so dangerous. And just when we thought it couldn't get worse, something horrible happened. Dream just fell. Oh. Oh. If Dream just fell and broke, what's going to happen when Technoblade's fully standing? The face just completely broke. Dude, it exploded. And you're going to still put this one up? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh I don't think you should do this. We have to go for it. We have broken dream right there and a massive techno blade with crazy amounts of wind. This is so dangerous. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is scary. Look at that thing tilting right now. The bolts are coming out of the side of it already, so it could pop at any second. I would kind of get away from this area when we get closer. There's a really high chance when he gets up there, it just falls and crashes. Oh, come on. We're so close. Please. Oh, slow. slow. I'm so scared happening? those legs are just going to go. It's swinging so much up there. It's overlap here. You got to readjust. Dude, this is so stressful. All we need to do is just get it over that little overlapping part. We're so close. There's just a little gap. This is scary. Down, down. Go down. This is it. Oh, oh. Okay. That's a loud noise. The only way a statue will fit is if we cut the body while it's in the sky and it could fall on us any second. Dude, this is like a real life Minecraft ladder. You're insane. Why? This is crazy. Okay, we gotta be careful. Yeah. Well, the body's on. We're closer now. The weight of the head, it's so big and tall. I don't know how yeah. you're gonna do it. Like that could tip so easily. A little bit of wind and it's just down. We have been building to this moment for two weeks. We are about to put the head on. No pressure. No pressure. There's like nothing holding this. You feel the pressure? <laughs> Here we go. This is so scary. You see how the wood snapped down the bottom? Yeah, the bottom of the wood. Go back. Oh, it's so close. Back. Go back. A little bit. Oh. Look at how huge oh, this thing the... is. <sighs> we are so close. We got about five feet left, but the entire bottom is cracked. The whole plywood is split. I think we should probably step back. Oh, whoa. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. After weeks and weeks of work, we built the world's largest Minecraft character for Technoblade. Me and my friends worked extremely hard on this, so we'd really appreciate if you could donate to the fundraiser. We are trying to raise $10,000 for the Cancer Research Institute. It's a long way up. Boys, where are we? Top, Top of Technoblade. Techno Look at them little ants. It's not that high! <laughs> They're so stupid! How are we gonna take this thing down? Uh... 